Here is your 223 survival whistle. Basically, it's a notch cut into the side of the shell, and inside is a whistling mechanism. You can kind of see when I light it up to make it whistle. On the end is just a piece of cord tied on. You can use it as a zipper pull or keychain or whatever it is. To make it, you're going to need a 223 bullet shell, a 22 bullet shell, and a scrap piece of brass, which you can get from another shell. For tools, you'll need a triangle file. This is a quarter inch on the sides, and also some soldering, uh, soldering setup. What you'll do is you'll take the shell, you'll line it up to the line right here at the taper with the quarter inch file. Once you get it lined up, you'll turn the file on its edge, and then you'll start marking it right there. So it's just a quarter inch from that taper. You're going to keep on filing down, but you want to make sure that you do it so that the edge is at a 90 degree, as you can see right here. And you'll keep going until the file fits in right to the edge of the blade. Okay. Once you get that cut out, clean out any burrs, you're going to take your 22 shell and you're going to cut off the bottom edge. What I did is just took a pair of uh, diagonal, diagonal cutting pliers and I just snipped off the edge until it came apart. Then you'll take a little scrap piece of brass and you'll solder it halfway onto the 22 shell. You'll cut off the excess and you'll push it close side in, inward into the shell. You can kind of see how it is right there. And what you want to do is make sure that the shell is perfectly lined up with the notch. So it'll look like that if it was inside. But this end would be covered up halfway. Now that's it. A little bit of solder, file off the top, make it even, and you have yourself a little survival whistle. You'll see how it sounds right now.